dear honorable viewers and all the students of MHC in entomology assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah welcome to the discussion on the segmentation of insect head and discussion on the theories of cephalization if you are already subscribed in my channel thank you very much if not please subscribe my channel and for this click on the subscribe button below the video then click on the bell icon and finally click on the option all the question describe the segmentation of insect head and discuss the theories of cephalization after an insect has emerged from the egg the completed head shows few indications of a segmental origin apart from the fact that it can carry paired appendages there is however every reason to believe that the insect head arose by the coalescence of a number of body segments and a non segmental anteriorly placed acron homologous with the annelate prostomium the orthodox theory is based largely on embryological evidence summarized recently by jura 1972 and anderson 1972 it asserts that the insect head consists of the acron plus six segments in favorable cases the latter may is be recognized embryologically by the presence of number 1 a pair of hollow mesodermal somites number 2 paired neuromeres embryonic ganglia and number 3 paired appendages the composition of the insect head according to this theory may be tabulated as follows segment neuromere silum sex appendix number 1 acron or pre antennal proto cerebrum sometimes present appendix absent antennal segment neuromere due to cerebrum silum sex usually present and appendix antennae number 3 pre mandibular segment neuromere try to cerebrum silum sac absent and appendix embryonic appendix number 4 mandibular segment neuromere mandibular ganglion silum sac usually present and appendix mandibles number 5 maxillary segment neuromere maxillary ganglion silum sac usually present and appendix maxillary number 6 labial segment neuromere labial ganglion silum sac usually present and appendix labium the pre antennal segment is often 
poorly defined or unrecognizable and the protocerebrum is derived largely from the ectoderm of the lateral cephalic lobes. Matsuda 1965 took claim that in most insects the head comprises an acron and only five cephalic segments. On the other hand, earlier claims that an additional seventh or labial labral segment is present in front of the pre-antennal segment now seem unlikely. The origin of the labrum from paired rudiments interpreted as limb bars is very uncommon, occurring only in Locusta, Carousius, and Rodneus, while the allegedly labral silum sacs of Carousius have been shown on re investigation to belong to the pre antennal segment score 1969 other theories of the segmental composition of the insect head are based largely on the comparative anatomy of adult forms especially of the central nervous system. They cannot be reconciled easily with the embryological evidence and are not widely accepted. For of these theories may be mentioned briefly. Number one, Snodgrass, 1963, agrees with the earlier views of Hanstrom, Hanstrom, 1928, and concludes that the protocerebrum, deutocerebrum, and antennae are derived of an anterior non segmental blastocephalon, followed by four of the segments premandibular to labial, recognized above. Number two, Henry 1947 to 48, and Ferris 1947 considered that the head comprises six segments, of which the first three gives rises to the labrum, the clypeus plus hypopharynx, and an oculoantennal region broadly equivalent to the fronts. The remaining three segments via the mandibles, maxillae, and labium. Number three, Chardonnay, 1950 recognized the six segments of the orthodox theory 
together with a so-called superlingual segment lying between the premandibular and mandibular segments. His views are based on a detailed anatomical study of Thermobia domestica but are not supported by the by the embryology of the head in the closely related Lepisma saccharina larynx 1970 number 4 but 1960 agrees with Snodgrass in denying the existence of the pre-antennal and antennal segments but regards the pre-mandibular segment as bearing appendages that fuse to form the labrum. His theory has been criticized by Mentor 1960. After Ames General Textbook of Entomology, 10th edition, page 37 to 38. Thank you very much for watching and keep watching for the next video.